So uh, initially when I started, I was very clear about one thing that I will love. First, understand the process, understand, uh, uh, understand what is actually required for this exam because we see a lot of people, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a huge uh, amount of magnitude of competition in this exam. So I thought, let me understand the process first and then see um, what I should do in, in order to be able to crack it. So for that, uh, initially what I did was I uh, took up uh, question papers of previous years. So before, uh, before I even started my preparation, I took up previous year's question papers for prelims and saw what are the questions like. Uh, I did that because when you're studying a subject, you have a clear aim as to uh, how are the questions from this subject coming in the exam and how should I study uh, to be able to answer that. I think uh, that worked a lot in my favor. After analyzing uh, the 10 years of question papers of prelims, that's when I started off with the basic books. Uh, so I tried not to overwhelm myself initially with a lot of resources. I took up very basic resources, the NCRTs, uh, which are very important. I took up the basic resources and tried to understand them, understand the concepts. I did not try to mug up things in the first go because uh, in the long run, that is not what will help us. Uh, if you look at prelims, the exam is 50% uh, factual and the rest 50% is based on logic and analysis. So you do not, you never get direct questions. Um, uh, at, uh, at least 50% of them are not at all direct. So in order to be able to answer those questions, I think uh, knowing the concept, I think uh, un and understanding the logic behind things is very important. So that is what uh, I wanted to do. So initially when I started off, I took it very slow. Uh, I tried to understand the concepts and uh, if I was not understanding anything, I went through multiple resources uh, and only when I understood it properly, I moved on to the next one. So after I finished my uh, basic resources, uh, the NCRTs, I went on to standard books for each subject. I stuck to one or two resources at the maximum for every subject uh, and uh, tried to make notes out of it. Uh, note making also helps us a lot in the sense that, um, let's say one week before the prelims when you have to revise, uh, if you have the standard book or so many books in front of you, it becomes very difficult. But if we have the handmade notes which we have written, our memory works uh, miracles if we have, a, if we have our self-made notes. So uh, uh, note making I think is very important. After that, um, after finishing the basic books and standards, I tried to do the mock tests. So um, upon finishing um, the static portion, what I realized is that uh, this is when I should start answering questions, answering uh, the mocks so that I'll know where I lack. Uh, so it is very important for us to be able to understand what our weaknesses are and be able to accept them. Not everyone can be good at every subject. So everyone, all of us will have our weaknesses and we have to work twice as hard on our weaknesses. So whichever parts were difficult for me, I try to solve a maximum number of tests for them and I try to uh, make myself better in those subjects. So this is how I try to prepare for prelims. Uh, so this was my very first attempt and I've had uh, very less time. So initially I thought, um, let me see how it goes. Let me give the first attempt and um, then I'll see. So, uh, but uh, because of the lockdown, I got a, uh, there was a four month uh, delay in the exam and that is what, um, that is when I thought, okay, so now I'll have to make this count. So that is when uh, I thought, let me give it my 100% and then um, I'll see what, uh, how it goes.